Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome along to the Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre for the second day of action this weekend in the FIH Pro League. We've got the men's match coming up for you now. A repeat of yesterday's nine-goal thriller as England take on France. Sam Ward and England in the all-red strip, attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. France in the all-blue. So Cannon on the left, Ward on the right, it goes to Ward. Here is Ward, Ward going low, and there is the deflection. Goal bound, falling down and reaching. It was good field, but Jeffrey comes across to make the save. Again, it goes to Nick Vanderack. Vanderack picks up, gets the shot on target and gets the shot in the goal. And Nick Vanderack adds to his Pro League tally. And England have the lead that their dominance probably deserves to this point in the contest. Nick Vanderack opens the scoring. Clean injection, good take off the top and straight down Masson's channel. Takes advantage of a mishap for France and a chance here now down the left hand side. Aubrey across the face of goal. Here's Griffiths off the oh, ball. Off Final the one from Cannon wide. Well, I think Griffiths is that's off the keeper and then off the bar. I think TF gets across enough to get a touch on this. It looked like the ball flight changed across to Griffiths. France have lined up three and one. Three to the keeper's left and they've gone the same place. Same result, Charlie. Couldn't stop that one, and Banderak doubles the lead, and he now goes into second place on his own in the hero top scorers table. This is even better than the first one. Out stop, and he absolutely rips that. That's post, backboard out. Does it hit the goalie and go in? It seems to hit the post. No, it's both posts. <laughs> Just absolute. That is fighting brilliantly. In it comes, it goes to Sam Ward. Ward wants to get on the score sheet. Good save from TFE with his left boot. He can just hold the position. Oh, here goes uh, Ramshaw. He's uh, making an absolute uh, fist of it down this left-hand side. Here he is on the reverse stick. Oh, he can't find the shot. He made such an effort to make up the ground. And having got there, couldn't find the finishing product. It's rapid down the left-hand side, and he was trying to execute my favourite shot in the whole world, the upright backhand, but he's bottom-edged it. Cowan then. lovely little ball inside, head up from Sloan, great defensive work, but there's Condon for the third. Jeffrey did well to come across and say the initial cross, but it rebounded to David Condon, who thrashes it into the goal, and England lead by three goals to nil now. Jeffrey comes off his near post really well to create the barrier and it's just unlucky for the French goalkeeper because it comes to an, to an English stick and Condon makes no mistake, nothing the goalkeeper can do. Oh, here's a chance, Tineve across the face of goal and there is Timothy Clement with one back for France. The French number 28, making an England three, France one. And we, uh, as we were just a moment ago. England with their backs turned at times. Nice little move into the circle and then across on the dive. Very, very well passed. Condon. Back to Salisbury. Looking for Griffiths. Picked up by Griffiths. Oh, oh. he's put into the sideboard. What a goal that would have been. Straight down the middle of the park. Interchange of passes. Scott, lovely little ball to Rushmere. Rushmere's got Banderak. That's a lovely ball to, to uh, Ramshaw, oh! who's put it wide and he's got the strike for the tackle by Goye. Well, the chasing tackle was ugly, but what a passage of play that is. So Ward against Jeffrey. Oh, off the boot and in. For Tietri, that's really unfortunate for the France keeper. He thinks he's put it over the bar, but it's gone up and into the net. Have another look. Tietri's gone early, he's used all of his size to accelerate out. That's so unlucky. Oh, they've lost it on the edge of the circle. A chance here. Oh, good save. What a save from Payne. 
with his stick out to the right hand side. Oh, France should have another one back here. Well, we talked about England turning it over at central midfield. They've absolutely done it. Crowd count down. France, one more go. And it comes. Oh, hello. That was unnecessary. There is the hooter. Clement having a square up with Salisbury. It was a little rash from both players swinging the stick at that stage of the game. But the final whistle has gone. And England uh, with a really good performance. And they run out comfortable winners. Final score here in East London, England 4, France 1.